I know for a fact we're going to go farther than we did last year. And last year was no slump. The Titans won their first playoff game in over 15 years. But this season, North Caddo is looking to take it a step further by getting back to the basics. Block recognition and holding on to the football and making good solid throws and pass protection, those little things that, that add up and make you win or lose football games. If anything that you mess up is minor, it's going to be major in the game. If I don't do what I got to do, then that's a hole in the defense. Potter is one of six returning starters on defense. On offense, three quarterbacks are up for the starting job, and whoever it is will know exactly who they're throwing to. Everybody knows about Amari Miller, you know, our, our four-star wide receiver committed to LSU last week. This one summer changed my whole entire life, so, you know, it's like a blessing. Going to LSU, uh, it's been a dream for me. Just a tremendous talent and somebody that will take a uh, take huge advantage of this year. You know, we're going to get him the ball as many times and in many ways as we can. And even when Omarion isn't the target, just his presence alone still helps the team. There's only 11 guys on defense, so if you assign two of them to cover Omarion Miller, well then we're playing 10 on 9 somewhere else. we got a lot of big playmakers, and we got the best secondary in the state and the best wide receiver in the state. So the Titans may have a four-star recruit, veteran players, and versatility on both sides of the ball. But once again, it's the little things that will make this team from Vivian special. You're going to see some kids out there having fun is what I'd say you'll see out of North Caddo football. With this 23 in 23 report, I'm Sam Rothman.